nailed it. Go ahead. Did they call me on channel one? I don't know. Go ahead. Can you just confirm the rate that that beacon is dropping? Uh, I don't have that readout, so I have to do some math. Super rough that would be fine. Okay, stand by. 700. At 52. At 52. <clears throat> or you could start now. No. <laughs> How long is it? How far is it now? 720. How, what was it before? 700? Seven. So it's 20 times 4. 80 meters a minute. Deck control. Go ahead. We have roughly 80 meters a minute, 80. Okay, copy. Thank you. <coughs> Whew. Don't even need that. Got a human calculator sitting next to me. My favorite Canadian piece of equipment on the ship is the people. <laughs> Good answer. Did you, just, did you just call me a piece of equipment? <laughs> I think that was in a loving way, though. Well. <laughs> Not all the equipment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know what's a great Canadian video-based invention that we do not have on board? What's that? Instant replay. Hmm. True that. So we just look at the same thing again and again and again. anymore. Hey, the 3D pineapple over there. <clears throat> yeah. The, this was the one that was in reserve. This is a very old. Oh, yeah. Megan brought new ones. Yeah, there's a new one. But we're on a last in, first out rotating schedule, so that one will remain back there. Yeah, you think it? Yeah. the opposite of fresh keep it that yeah you don't want to enjoy that's the brand yeah you don't want to enjoy the pineapple gummy it's just there for duty yeah. what's this I mean what the drawing is that what it is CTD. Okay. Maybe. Did you see I had a whole door wall, door wall of post-it drawings? I did. Up, yeah, that was. Took them down. Why? No joy. <laughs> no fun up here. Okay. <laughs> this is work. <laughs> I think it was Samantha and who, whoever else. Uh. I took him down. <laughs> no fun. Yeah. No, I don't mind. It's just that it, you know, accumulates by the end of one cruise, and then you gotta. They add more. There's a rust spot in it. Oh, it's a new one. Yeah, but spin it. There's a rust spot in the bearing. Bothers me. 
Yeah, that's not good. Uh, yeah, good. Back deck. <coughs> Go ahead, deck. Can you read me the vegan depth? Nine seven five meters. Nine seven five. Roger, nine seven five. <laughs> Based on my wrist cramp, it's got to be. Yeah. What happened to the little gray cube? Uh, yeah, well that's what. What did happen? That was the best one. My flashlight. <laughs> I hope it turns up. Hmm. That'd be that'd be pr pretty upsetting if I. It's okay. Well, now you said it, so it's okay, Ray. Right? Kind of worried. I don't know the pointy stick either. You don't have a recipe for rebearing. You don't have anything. This thing's not even plugged in. <laughs> Where would you plug it in if you wanted to? You know where that's where. That's it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is really rusty. Where's the cube? Ask Samantha where the cube is. Is that that old legacy fidget cube? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's been around a while. Yep. <coughs> you can move that over from the old van. I got you at plus six. There's nothing else I can do. Oh. Are you on SPL? Yeah. Um, good on SPL. Give it two more. Give it some beans. <laughs> Check. Yeah. <clears throat> then go to 12. 11. I gotta watch that movie again. Yeah, it's been a very long time. <clears throat> Haven't used the blue sensor yet this expedition. No. I don't know if now's the time I would want to. No, I think we got. Others can do what they wish. This one doesn't even have it. No. No. Oh, you have it. Oh, I have it. Yeah. It's the orange you tricked me. Hmm. Hmm. They're stopped. What's that? Stopped. They're stopped and they're pointing. Hmm. Checks out. Hey, maybe it's not from a carnival after okay. all. Why? Oh, yeah. Came from the wind store. That's where you get them. Oh. We still have winch future. Yeah. <laughs> Bottom left. I uh, I don't recall the value, but I, I went down into the winch holds when we first put those cameras in with a camera flash, recording both cameras, mm -hmm. winch future and winch now. Mm -hmm. Fired the flash, 
went back and aligned the recordings by time code. And they were off by like, I think it was 12 frames, which is less than half a second. But, uh, but to your brain, it looks like four seconds. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff happens fast in the winch hold. Yes. Fast and loud and hot. Hot as well. Yeah. Really get a sense of that over the camera. Loudness and the hotness. I like the improvised live camera indicators we yeah. put down there that have stayed there for Roger. four years now. Which one, the white one or the reddish one? Yeah, that should be a, a jelly back there, yeah. You see two shadows behind it. I think that's the light cast from the ROV. <coughs> Doing a gauge check over there? What's the ground fault from? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I almost did. What do you got? Oh, I thought that was the fidget cube. I got real excited. Still, still halted.
Oof. I think I need, still need a couple hours of just staring at this clear water to overcome the trauma of that visibility yesterday. Yeah. All right, so uh, new questions come in, folks. Um, and people are just wondering about our biggest moment of cheer on these expeditions. So an interesting discovery, uh, something that made everyone really excited. So if you want to take turns sharing your thoughts, that'd be great. When things go right, I get really excited. Yeah. Yeah. When things go right, yeah. you, you've heard it, folks. Mm -hmm. When things go right, <laughs> I like it. Can you give me an example, Sean? Payouts commenced. Oh, like a, just a perfect day. You know, <laughs> when we say we're down, we're down. When we're up, we're up. You know, perfect operation day. Okay, so so good operations usually like picking things up yeah. that we need to pick up, deploying things we need to deploy, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, and you know, a lot of these things are out of our control, like you know, weather, things that we get hang up on. But yeah. yeah. When things go smoothly, that's that really makes me. Uh, what 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 does that one uh, Mary Kondo say? Sparks my joy or something. Sparks my joy. Yeah. I like it. There you heard it, folks. Sean, when his joy is sparked, that is, that's what makes his day. Anyone else? Any of the pilots? Any time I'm allowed to go for something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the food, the food's pretty good here. I don't know. I, I'm impressed. Lots of choice. Yeah. Lots to eat. Yeah. You got a favorite meal, Dave? Not really. All of them. I think he's, <laughs> he's fond of the free one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like when they do the couscous, uh, especially when it lines with the curry. Mm. Sundays. Oh, ice cream sundays? Yeah. Excellent. For breakfast. For breakfast? <laughs> no, no. Do they allow that? No. Only if you wake up late. Are we still doing corn dogs at breakfast? No, we haven't had corn dogs or potato barrels or tater tots as they're sometimes called in sometimes. quite some oh, time. Wow. Usually they're called potato barrels though. Yep. Tater tots, that's a trademark. I don't know if we can say that. Ding. Not a sponsor, but we right. would love if you did. If you were. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, a little plug there. Please yeah, get they're kind of like little plugs, I guess. Live. All right. Any, um, what about any uh, cool marine organism sightings? Does that make our day? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah? yeah I think they saw an octopus uh, yesterday. I wasn't going to watch well, that. We didn't right. see one. We got attacked yeah, by attacked one. Yeah. Oh, really? That was the worst part of my day. Hmm. Oh, no. No, okay. I'm just kidding. It was awesome. So how did it attack us, Josh? 
What's that? How did it, like, it attack the RV? I, was, what did yeah. I, I had a connector in my hand, <laughs> and it grabbed onto it with a couple of its arms and grabbed onto some other stuff, and I was fighting it. It was really dramatic. So yeah. if, if people wanted the instant replay of, of that, that'd be yesterday's dive? Yes, that's correct. Excellent. And approximately any time? Yeah, tw it was like 2110 or something like that, UTC. Oh, nice one, Wow, Ed. Ed. Yeah. Ed. Ed. In. Uh, Don't, it, there's no way to verify it that. Got, well, I know <laughs> because... He gets all the credit. No, in his, in his he gets all the credit. Like, why would I pick 2110? That's not even a funny number. All right, everybody, write in if... Don't some, depends some years old, like that jerk said... Uh, uh. The video operator who was here at the time wanted to pull the clip last uh, night after their watch, and nice. I helped them find it, and... Uh, your argument as, is I couldn't have made it up because it's not a funny number. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-one ten. I would have said. I mean, I know you, so that's a good argument. I would have said yeah. it was at eighteen seventy-three or something. Something that it would take somebody a while to process before realizing it was impossible. That's funny. Uh, like Twenty-one ten. Twenty-one ten is now officially a funny number. <laughs> yeah. You, you've heard it here first, folks. Twenty-one ten. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, thanks for that. Uh, I hope we answered that question well. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> was there a question in there? What time was the octopus? The, the question. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the question was just about our most interesting discovery. When the whole crew, the whole control room, uh, instantly lit up. So we, we've had uh, a couple different answers for that. Thank you very much. We get pretty excited about the number. Uh, 2110. Number yeah. 2110. That's not how my sentence is going to end, but here we go. Uh, we get pretty excited about the number on the temp probe when we stick it at a hot vents. Oh, oh yeah, that is that's actually the, I bet, oh, I bet the that's going to get about 320 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Uh, 318, oh, yeah, we 319. Went nuts last time. Okay, yeah. I'll yeah. do a, a quick um, conversion there. So oh, how many degrees Celsius? 320. 320 Celsius. Oh, we also got in trouble. We did. We Why celebrated did we get in too much. No, we got in trouble because we poked it in too far. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. So, so uh, folks, if you're in Fahrenheit, that's 608 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. Hot water. <laughs> really All hot right, water now. they're paying out again. <laughs> yeah, they are. Which looks like they're holding in. I am uh, seeing that the level wind is the issue. I'm gonna say the up part is gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna be a real treat. Start, stops and starts. Right on. All right. Well, I'm gonna pass you back. Being real to, hot uh, water then. Pass you back to Marley. So uh, it's been a slice. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Is where's the button to play the Canadian theme song? You the mean anthem? Oh, Canada? Anthem. <laughs> yeah. The Canadian, the Canadian oh my theme gosh. song. <laughs> <laughs> like we're a TV yeah, show like, that yeah. has its own theme song. It's the theme tune to Letter Candy, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something by Tragically yeah. Hips or Brian If the guys Adams. from Letter Candy would like to come down and pay a visit, that would be much appreciated. Yeah. Or Trailer Park Boys. Oh, man. I'm staying out of any <laughs> conversation <laughs> about national Bubbles. anthems. Good idea. Yeah. yeah. I can't really get into that right now. I'll get nope, in trouble. No, no, no. This isn't rock and appliances. <laughs> I'm picturing like <clears throat> the Canada theme song. It's like going around some old sitcom where they introduce people. Like, yeah. Camera comes in, and you're like, <sighs> yeah. Mm. So uh, some it's some weird situation. It is. Just go, hey. Stand by, everyone. The uh, we have the beacon is kind of drifting towards yep. Argus, so we'll just keep an eye on that as we watch. Roger. Mm -hmm. What depth <laughs> is that right now? With what's that? What depth is it at? It's at uh, one three eight five. So it's about halfway. Not okay. much weight on that, is there? No. It's going to come over us. Like I doubt it. Well, I don't know about that, but it it'll it's going to keep coming this way. If it keeps coming, we'll have to have them <coughs> stand by, and we're going to have to try to figure out maybe standing off in another direction or something. Yeah, can we not stand out to the east? We could west. stand out east, yeah. Go west. Yeah. Or, sorry, west, yeah. West yeah. Or, or northwest, something like that. Should we have them pause and do it, or just do it and let we them know? Just do it, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think they need to know. That's the the winch operators.
for reference. It's 20 meters away from us. Yeah, okay. And that's farther at, at a than different, different depth. Yeah, depth, actually. but the where the where our wire is is probably kind of starting to. Comparable. Yeah, like yeah. You could have them pause if you want. Well, let's see where their wire is and where ours. Yeah, it's starting. I don't know, because we're also pulling this out too, right? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't just sit here. Like if we were to let go of all the tension, this would come back in. Right. So. Uh, all that to say that I think that we're going to be like this, and it's going to be, it's probably not going to swing more than our pulled out one. Yeah, yeah. But this is, you know, we're going to go over here, and it's more safe, more precautions. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, might as well. I'm just not, I'm not sure where the, if the bend is closer to the bottom, then we're, then that package yeah, no, is probably pretty close to ours. For sure. Just put a camera on that thing. It's got a 322 wire. You can get comms of it. Is that is that what that wire is? <coughs> yeah. quite tight now. Why did it do that? That's neat. Good feature. That's a great feature. Not that one. Just need this to be a different color. Oh, then the words, yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's not living. Much better. Much better. Yeah. We'll hang here for a while and see what happens. Or keep sure. going. That's fine. Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you for moving over. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let's see how that sits. Quick comms check. Can you guys hear me okay? Yep. Good morning. Hello. Hey, Marley. Hello. Oh, it's morning. We have a quick question about why it's cloudy in the water and if it's due to marine snow, which I believe it is, right? Do we want to have yeah, a... Yeah, you'd be right. I, yeah. Not, not much else to say about that. <laughs> so, um, you know, compared to the site we were at yesterday, it's actually quite clear. But um, yeah, you know, when, when you're at the bottom of the ocean, marine snow tends to accumulate. And uh, as a result, you can see all this kind of ha cloudy haze around you. It's a pretty critical part of the deep ocean ecosystem, though. We're, we're happy to see marine snow.
<laughs> it looks like we've got a couple people who are just tuning in and want a general status update. Uh, Rennie, could you just give us a quick update on what depth we're at and where we are? Sure, yeah, the ROVs are now at a depth of about 2,500 2, meters. Um, so we're sitting at the bottom, and what we're doing here is we're awaiting the lowering of a secondary package. So we have a, another crane on our ship that is lowering via a winch um, a, an instrument down to the seafloor. Um, and what we're doing there is we've got a beacon attached to that. So we know where the vehicles are, um, and we know where this uh, package is, and we're just trying to make sure that because now we have two cables in the water, one that's uh, tethered to Atalanta and one that's tethered to the instrument, uh, we want to make sure that they don't tangle at all or get near each other. So we're watching as that package gets lowered. Uh, we know its depth from the beacon and also from the winch payout. And as it approaches the bottom, um, we're going to stand off from the bottom a bit and uh, kind of acquire it visually first in sonar and then visually with ROVs because we want to make sure that we're landing it in the spot that we want it to land. Um, so we're going to kind of visually line that up. Uh, it will touch down. We'll lay the cable over to the side. And then the ROV has to approach and uh, unhook it from the cable. So once it's safely on the seafloor, we unhook it and uh, they'll be able to retrieve that wire and we'll be on our way with more uh, tasks with this new uh, instrument. Awesome. Well, looks like the lay of this thing is going to be farther south than we want. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out when the best time for a ship move is. Do it now. <laughs> no real need for it, but. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't. I don't know what the driver is. If it's going to is the prevailing. Is it going to be current that'll move it or? Does it have a chance of moving around? I, it kind of seems to be trending this way, like you said. Yeah. I don't know if it'll necessarily trend back. I know that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know that it was uh, trending down with Atalanta before we started pulling. So I think yeah. generally it's going to come south. Yeah. I don't think it'll take too long to move once we're there. Maybe we'll yeah, totally. hone it in. We can find it. Yeah. Yeah. So if we didn't care about how hard this thing hit the bottom or or where it landed within reason, we'd be able to do this a different way, um, just by dropping it over the side. Um, perhaps with flotation at attached so it landed a little bit softly and then a way to release that flotation. But um, the requirements of positioning and uh, how gentle we need to be with it kind of informed the method of lowering. How far away does the should the ROV be when it hits the seafloor? So we're going to have to acquire it and then is the plan to step off when it actually um, hits the bottom? I, if we can set up safely so we can see it yeah. visually like far away, great. If not, then we'll do sonar. Yeah. We'll have to see how Atalanta swings in. Probably going to be fine, but... Yeah. But, uh, right, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, Atalanta uh, is going to be pretty close. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. We also have the other trick with the two-body system that you don't get with a single body is we have laterals on Atalanta. Mm -hmm. So we can actually hold the wire away with the sled. Back deck. Go ahead, Deck. Can you give us a reading on the beacon height? One, nine, five, nine meters.
seems like they're all stopped. Yeah. Uh, can you repeat that number, please? 1959 meters. They're nodding, that's a good sign. Okay. You want to give me a copy, bud? How do I know you know? We've got another quick question. How long does it take to lower the package all the way from the ship to the seafloor? Well, uh, we were we were figuring out what rate they wanted to lower it at. Um, I think they wanted to lower it at 60 meters a minute. Was that right? And then we they uh, asked us for a quick estimate on how fast it was going down just based on our depth over time. And it looked like they were lowering it at about 80 meters a minute. Um, I'm not sure if they slowed up since then. Um, but that over 2,500 meters. Uh, and then, as we said, we will be stopping 10 to 20 meters off the bottom as we uh, do our slow approach, acquire it, and then uh, kind of lower it to the seafloor from then. So it's, it's a bit of time. Um, that is quite faster than uh, Hercules and Atalanta as they lower it to the bottom. Going down again, looks like. Going down. Just kidding. They keep getting blinky lights. Red light, green light. Hmm. Keep turning the engine. <laughs> turning the engine over. Starter's busted. Yeah. No battery. There's a kickstart in the back. Anything's a kickstart if you want it to be. Anything's a kick stop if you want it to be. Hey, ROV, how's it going? Hello. Hey. Um, so I think there's a little bit of discrepancy between the line payout counter and the beacon. Roger. So I've got Doug going to what should be 50 meters, but will probably be 90 meters Kay. above the seabed, and then he'll stop and we can direct him from there Great. on channel one. Yep. Um, how's it looking in terms of target? Uh, so we're uh, we're roughly just a few meters south of it. Um, we had to reposition the vehicles a little bit to the southwest. Um, just to let you know about that beacon depth. So there uh, there is a discrepancy here between um, Herx Paro, which reads 2,500 meters plus four to the bottom, um, and then Herx uh, USPL beacon reads 2,490. So there is like a a bit of slop there because I don't have the depth aiding on. Um, it's just based on uh, dis, you know, acoustic distance. Okay. So that's about a. F what what kind of discrepancy are you seeing back there? We were seeing about 40 meters after what we thought. We thought it should have been two kilometers deep, and it was 16. It was 1960, so it was about okay. 40 meters over two kilometers. That's the safe way to be errored. Yeah. 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 That's right. So he's going to stop at what should be 50 meters, but it will. Probably the beacon will show 90. Okay. To the and the beacon bed. is 30 meters off the bottom of the payout, too. It's 33, yeah. Yeah. 33 meters? Yeah. yeah. That's from the hook, and then there's the package height as well. So. Yeah, so I think when I did the math, I took that into account. So, it's, so it, the package okay. should be 50 meters off seabed, not the beacon, because oh, okay, that would have been a, a little too tight. Understood. But I'm bad at math, so. Perfect. If you see that beacon heading towards the seabed, please say something. <laughs> 
Um, do you have the screens back there so you can follow along? Yeah. Uh, so we have Sonardyne as the one that has the depth on it. And uh, positioning relation to our targets is either Ravnav or Hypac, which I should check if that's in a good... Yeah. It's messy. Maybe, maybe Hypac's not that great. So, can you do me a favor, please, mm -hmm. if it's easy? Can you remove cable drop? That's not real anymore. That's not a thing. It oh, was a thing. It really. yeah. If you can't do it, don't worry about it. I don't know if I can in this program, okay. unfortunately. Don't, don't knock yourself out over it. Don't care. Yeah, uh, it's an... Everything's slow. It's kind of... Yeah, weird. Kind of not good. Let's see. No, I don't think I can. It's just kind of annoying. Okay. So on high pack, the blue mess, that's the beacon. Sorry, let me uh, go back to high pack. Yes, blue mess is the beacon. Okay, so that's looking uh, pretty close to target. Yeah, I guess if we average out the mass, it's in the it's in the in the zone. Yeah, I know I don't like high pack because it draws lines, so then it influences where you think things are. Right. As opposed to just the little points. Yeah, except we don't have the target on the sonar nine. I don't Rav have Nav. it, but I do have it on Ravnav. Um, Rav Nav, Rav Rav Nav, yeah. And those were dropped separately, so they may have a slight discrepancy. Um, but Okay, I see. So, yeah, we're maybe a little bit south of it. Maybe, yeah. Uh, okay. That's kind of what it's looking. I guess that's kind of fine, because then if we ship move and it swings north, that's the safe direction. I think we were ship moving uh, northeast slash east-northeast, right? Like because we have the, the packages here, and we want to land the package, swing it this way, so we can unhook and rehook, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work out. Cool. We have plenty of room from there to where the cables dropped, where the cable is placed. If you guys want to switch to cam starboard up there, it's got a better shot of the crane going in the water. Okay. This is fine yeah. being able to see him work the controls too. Yeah. See what they're beep booping about. Beep booping. Looks like he's trying to call you on radio. I don't know if he's doing it. Oh, he's, is pre he? he's preparing. Uh -huh. So ready right now? What are we at? 2250. 2250 on our, yeah. And then another 30. Yeah, another 33 to the bottom of the package. Like 2300. That winch is a headache. So Josh, you know how the Atalanta laterals work? You understand the concept? Yeah, cool. You can do that while you're it's in the level one heading. system. So you can keep a heading and then At first it was the level one system. Pass one way or the other. So if you need that. And then it was then the oil temperature. Maybe we use it. Oil temperature. Yeah. yeah. When we get closer to the seabed with the package, are we able to like clear the points? 
off of the viewer so we could like sort of yeah for which pro all of them yeah sure well yeah mostly the mostly the onc beacon but yeah can do it on uh okay. on both high pack and okay nice rod map. Has all of the instrumentation on the package been sent down to the seafloor before, or is any of it new? Uh, we've got a pressure recorder on that platform that was previously recovered from another site uh, that's part of this experiment. There's three sites that have similar instrumentation. So we brought that one back last year, uh, had it serviced, and it's going back down again to be swapped out for another one to come back kind of like a leapfrog year-to-year -year thing. ONC does quite a bit of that, right? For autonomous instruments, yeah, that's been the case. Uh, like our pressure sensors that uh, used to be part of the tsunami array, you would do that too. Pick one up, download the data on board the ship, drop it off at the next site, pick one up, cycle through. Yeah. Pretty efficient. Happy with uh, sonar view? Yeah, back deck. Happy with sonar view? Go ahead. Roger, stand by. Right side is Herc. Left side is Atlanta. That's Herc. Yeah. Beacon depth 2377. One more time. Totally, yeah. This is better for like long distance acquiring, but that's, you know, better for up close. You can range that out if you need to, whatever you want. So that checks out because that puts our package about 90 meters. You can probably go 40 meters more. Already? Sorry, stand by. What was that, AJ? I think four zero meters will put our package at five zero meters. Uh, AJ advises four zero meters, four zero meters lower. Thank you. Sorry, what was that, Trevor? When do you want to switch out? Are you going to do both this and talk to the bridge? Oh, yeah, you can switch over to that, sure. Okay. Sorry, we're at that That's time, fine. aren't we? Yeah, we're nearly there. Yeah. So Trevor, how close to the seabed do you want to get this thing? And I guess we're going off beacon depth, so. Yeah, we want the package to be 10, 15, 20 meters off bottom. Okay. Uh, I think we can hang out at 20, you good with that? Yeah. Okay, so let's start with 20. Gives us a lot of room to play. So, so that's 33 meters above, then we want uh, oh, 50, 24, 50 beacon depth. 24, 60 maybe, or sorry, 24, 40 beacon depth. So you want it 20 meters above the seafloor, so that's 2480. 2480 of yeah. package depth. Then yeah. minus 33 gives us 2447. Yep, and then the we beacon. have about a 10 meter discrepancy between actual depth and acoustic depth, so I'm including that as well. So that puts us up at 2440. Sure, yeah. So yeah, once we get beacon depth 2440, we'll go try to find it, see how the vehicles lay out, and see what kind of setup we need there, we'll go from there. So you can call in another 25 meters. Roger. I think I want 20. 20, yeah, 20 right, right, right it's adjusting deeper. Bless you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, back, back. Go ahead. How much uh, lower should I take the package? Winch, please pay out 22 meters. Will do. Now Doug's got to do some math in his head. 22. Carry the one. Yeah. <clears throat> Should have kept it. E I'll keep it easy numbers from now on. Well, it's just that he's at some weird four-digit number totally, in yeah, the yeah. middle of nowhere, right? So, so that's sorry. So then that's 50 meters off for the beacon, plus 30 down to the package. So 20 meters off the bottom. That's yeah. the plan. Yeah. Yeah, Roger. Just I, I missed that conversation. Yeah, so Roger. It, was just, it was a double check actually. Great. Came in blind. Okay, I can't seem to clear this. These targets. I can't 
can't make them go away. Don't worry about that. That's fine. Yeah. Got the white circle. Yeah. 30 meters away. See our right. sonar? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. What's your distance there? Yeah, 25. Uh, yeah, 26. That's, yeah, I mean. Well, yeah, from around. It's close up. enough with that. Uh, yeah. I can make, I can great. make it 30 if I want. <laughs> <laughs> Did you squint? Now, so. Okay. Okay, cool. So it actually went hard target and got a little softer, which means it might be a little past us. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So I'll have him. Uh, what's your What's your altitude? Is 21 meters? Maybe I'll have him come up. Oh no, it's good again. It's good yeah, again. Back deck. Hey, back deck. Please hold there for now. Await further instruction. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go take a peek. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just watch uh, Atalanta on as it swings towards. Yeah. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. To port. Yeah. You're gonna end up if you're both facing the same way. You will have a half wrap, just by design. I guess. Do we want to go solely off a of sonar? Yeah, all right, so you're going to have to back towards him and then yeah. and then spin. Yeah. Just, uh, what's, the what's only that? thing is when we back down Atalanta, we'll come a lot, quite a lot closer. Yeah, so we Probably have to where that line is. Do so. that with caution. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just come back. Roger. Trevor, I'm just wondering if we want to go off of the sonar distance. Yeah, we uh, have that confirmed, same as nav. Plus it, minus a couple meters. Okay, because we can clear the nav hits and try to see. Yeah, which screen are you looking at there? I'm looking at Rob nav. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to clear, and it won't just clear. Cause, just because that way we get the landing target as well, right? So. Yeah, understood. Yeah, a couple things at play here. We want to, of course, get the target in the right spot, but we also want to see how these vehicles will lay out with yes, this. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So starting ship moves and all that kind of stuff is going to happen after we acquire it in the water column. I'm going to reset your DVL on the fly. So that's all right with you? Yeah, Thank you. There we go. Nice. So it looks like we're off target by, well, I don't know. 10 meters, five meters? Yeah, something like that. 10. Okay. If we're worried about Atlanta coming into it, wouldn't the best thing to do be change ship heading? Yeah, but you, we, can't, we can't. We can't. Yeah. Roger. Yeah. Yeah. Start our lateral and. The ship, you mean? No, out of, out of Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, we can do that now. Absolutely. Okay, start moving it. Lateral. So make sure you're lateraling. To the, port. the proper way. The yeah. proper way. I mean, that's, you know that, but I'll say it anyway. No, no. Say it anyways. Let's see what happens. Ten percent. Just says percentages. That's correct. Yeah. Percent of uh, thruster input. When I click it, is it? Where's? You'll see your thruster outputs in the blue and black box. Thank you. If you still have auto heading on, which is fine, it'll adjust your auto heading with a bias towards lateral. Same thing as always. Yeah. Okay, I got 50% lateral to port on. Okay, now I think that makes it makes sense if you bring your heading kind of northish, maybe 330. Roger. That'll make you lateraling down to the southwest. Does that make sense? Kind yep. of match the ship's heading. Yep. 
you're lateraling away from the target okay. and away from the way we're going to lay it. Heading's coming around to 330, still yep. lateraling 50% to port. You probably have enough slack to turn now. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe just take your Yeah. <sighs> Looking like 20 meters from Atalanta in the sonar there. Yep. I don't need the rings to be this far away. I'm going to range that so they're both 10 meters per ring. You're on the wrong one. Yeah, I'm going to put it back over here. There we go. 10 meters per division. 10 meters, Roger. We're seeing it 22 meters away from Atalanta. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> So walk me again where you're putting Atalanta with this lateral move. It's going to be going... Josh, what's your heading pretty right much, now? It's pretty much... My heading's pretty much north. Roger. So it looks like I should be lateraling to the west. Roger. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Checks out. So I think we're going to do the... Once we get the target there, we're going to lay it this way. So okay. I would say if you match your ship's heading there, Josh... I think that's then you're, there. You want uh, me to la match ship's heading, Match Roger. ship's heading. Sorry, say say again. I saw it and it's gone, but yeah, I think that's you're pretty it. low, so yeah, might be tough to find. But it's right where the beacon is. That is, what's okay. the ring zone? What's the range? Ten, Ten. meters for div. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Great. So it makes sense now if we're going to find it with Hercules to bring both vehicles up in the water column, so you can see it with Hercules. Yeah, let me get just the yeah, other side of him here. Absolutely. Yeah. So can't really see him. I can't tell where he is. Yeah, why is the 60 hertz in relation hey, to me? Yep. Can you give us a hand here on the bottom left of that pilot screen. Can we get the Atalanta Mini Zeus instead of 60 hertz? Bottom left of the pilot screen. Of the oh. uh, uh, Atalanta. Yeah, what do you want to see there? A Atalanta Mini Zeus, please. Yep, got Thank it. You. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing uh, the tether was bouncing in the back of the gate. Yeah. 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 There we go. How's that? So we're going to okay, need, come some, up on need Delta, some Delta. Please, Josh, yeah. up. Yeah. I'm going to start coming up slow with him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Wait for. We're a little too close. A little too tight on Delta. Why? I didn't watch that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's yeah. Not great. Not oh, I see it. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. great. Let's get about thirty. Maybe 35 meters delta before you start coming up. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I don't like it. No. No, I'll like stop. All stopped. All right. Let me come back. Yeah. I'm right yep. on the other yeah, side yeah, of him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, come back down a couple of meters, mate. Coming down a couple of meters. There's your float. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you head southeast. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, just saw it in that gauge cam. That's good there, bit. Okay, stopped. Still got laterals on on the Atlanta. This isn't even the wire. better already yeah not all better but yeah that's that bad. that little loop right there i don't like no yeah. water so yeah, we'll keep yeah. going keep doing what you're doing yep yeah we don't have a down cam do we in it negative no just the mini zeus yeah, yeah. josh you tip down the mini zeus roger There we go. Seems happier. Keep going until you're about parallel with those comps. Roger. Huh. 
Yeah, we got visual there in Atlanta okay. Mini Zeus. Great. It's still up beside the yeah, edge. Yeah. So yeah. keep going. Keep doing keep what you're going doing. Away. Yeah. Man, there we go. In my off camera. Yeah, still beside the beside Atlanta and the, its gauge cam, its utility cam thing. So keep pulling. Yep. Definitely caught up on top. I think of that's it. a heading thing, is it, or is it caught? It's caught. So it should be coming out the port side of the vehicle, but it should not be floaty that close to the yeah, vehicle. I just see it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, so, let's see, Josh, should he, should can you bring your heading to starboard? Back to, back to yeah. the mode we were in, yeah. yeah. Okay, coming to starboard. 90 degrees, or what is that, 045 heading? 045, roger, coming around. Sloppy start. Mm -hmm. At least the packages remain static, kind yeah, of right in that totally. same spot. Okay, glimpse of it in sonar every now and then. Yeah, yeah. Well, well it's uh, looking better. Not quite there yet. Got the but butt, butt cam now. It's yeah. Okay, so I think keep going ahead there, Dave. Pull away a bit, yeah. Uh, stop there. It's hung up. Stop. Are we wrapped around it, or or Shouldn't is it, or is the float that that strong? We might be. No, I don't think the float's that strong. No, it's not. What's our distance between each other right now? We're at uh, 35 meters, I think. Yeah, 40. 40, so that's past the float. To, so, do we need to spin Atalanta? Do we need to think about it really hard and spin Atalanta? <laughs> I'll think about it, but I don't. I, what else could it be hung up on aside from the six eight? It's it, yeah, I think it's the six eight. I don't know that it's wrapped around. It might just be like flopped over, you know. Uh, no. But on the on the weight, because the uh, weight stack has yeah. been pulled up somehow. Uh huh. Uh huh. So okay. Um, what if we get a better view of it if you spin Atalanta slightly to port, so we get it more in view. Yeah. I don't know, 20 degrees, 30 degrees to port? Going 20, 20 to port. Yeah, it's, huh. up, it's up there, all right. Yeah. But how? So what's it, what could it be hanging on up there? It could be hung up on the uh, termination of the 6.8. It could be hung up on the weight of the tether itself. Yeah. The, uh, we wrap a piece of lead around it as a to bring down the catenary, but if that gets pulled up by the floats, then it stays up high. Oh, okay. What if what if we uh, go to drive out at zero delta and some we can get a better look? Yeah, you can try that. So if you keep going ahead a little bit, come up off bottom and stay stretched out. And just come up slow. Come up slow, yeah. We'll see if it, we can get a better visual of what's the problem. Hopefully it just comes free and we never get a chance to know anymore. I would love that. I would love that. Delta, name of the game. That looks like the weight that you're talking about down there. I can't quite tell. Let me see if I can get... Uh, uh, that's me almost 10 meters up. Do you want butt cam in a bigger view? Yeah, Ed, on the uh, top left monitor, can I please get yep. Atalanta butt cam? Yeah, you got it. Thank you. Great. 
Yeah, that BSR is quite, quite strained upwards. It does look like the weight, though, doesn't it? Yeah. I do you see the weight? You're right. Is it 16 up, delta is 9, 9 meters. Okay. Roger, is there a float above that or no? There's not a float on okay, that side. Okay, Roger. No, so it's just stuck. So, but I'm wondering, I mean, if it if it's stuck or wrapped around, if it was wrapped around, it would be you'd turn Adelant to the port, if I'm not mistaken, the way that it looks. Turn Adelant Three meter delta. Port. Yeah, you can leave it at zero delta. Okay. So if I still got that lateral on in Atlanta. Maybe kill that. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm gonna kill it. Okay. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Okay, it's off. Okay. That was that was Sorry. lateraling to port. So, yes. So it was lateraling this way. It might be just pushed up in there. It might free itself, maybe. Oh, I'm seeing a lift line. That's well. That's just the daisy came that's a little bit. Loose. That's funny. Fine, huh? <sighs> Want me to keep pushing? Away? I think uh, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, it's definitely up there, but yeah, it's. I'm, I'm just wondering. To pull. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just don't know if we spin, and you could see if the BSR comes looser. I, I just don't know what it would be stuck on. That's that would hold it that tight. Aside from if it's wrapped around, it could be like around a. USBL head or something like that. It's, it's the aft of the. Oh yeah, if, if it's forward. Yeah, but it should have been bouncing off. It's. But but that would be a full way around, I think. If it's something like that, if you go negative delta, then you could potentially undo it. Yeah, that's. I like that more than spinning. Yeah, we could try that delta, first. You know where you are. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Does that sound good to you guys? Come up a little bit, see if you can get minus 10 delta and have it unhook. Unless you're seeing something I'm not or have any other ideas, I'm open open to so thoughts here. you want me to come up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On the way. Man, it looks like it's stuck hard or something. Yeah. It looks like it's stuck hard. I don't know yeah. what it could be stuck on hard, though. In a way, right. that's kind of helping us right now because then we can see if the BSR releases, but... Yeah. Coming up. Roger. I'm up five up now. Roger. I think keep it between 5 and 10. So before a spin to port, I think I'd rather lateral to starboard. Yeah, whatever. I, I agree that uh, rather than messing with that. That's me 10 up. 10 okay. up. Yeah, you keep it there. Josh, you want to do lateral to starboard? Roger. 50% or something? Okay, here we go. 50% lateral starboard. Thank you. Man, we are, it, that BSR is tight. Yeah, not even moving it, like. No, no it's weird. Off. I don't understand. And Sweet. we can pretty, I think pretty well eliminate that it'd be wrapped up in the, in the secondary wire because we haven't seen the package move as we backed away. Yeah, agreed. It's not anything to do with the second wire. Although that would, yeah, even if it was higher up, it would still move it quite a bit closer to us, the way that we're pulling. Uh, that cluster stayed about the same, right? I haven't seen that move. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So it is getting separation there, but it's not affecting the stuckness. Hmm. So, the downside with this stuff is can you find the tether and you see the vehicle without entangling it worse? You mean if you spin? If you spin yeah. the ROV in. Which is the, the ROV in. What's the best Herc Delta to spin oh, man, Atalanta? I mean, there isn't one really. There isn't one really, yeah. <laughs> because, well, up would be bad because you won't be able to see the tether. Down, you could potentially entangle it while you spin. If you come you down just zero. a little bit, maybe we can see something in the Herc butt cam. Uh, was, yeah. That's what I'm yeah. thinking, is whether or not I can back yeah. up towards it yeah. a little. Yeah. Can we get Herc butt that's bigger exactly. somewhere? We're running out of big screens. Oh, right? I can put it up top. I've got an eye on, down I've got an okay. eye on it over here, too. Yeah, they can do that with surgery, ready? <laughs> um. Not a good time, bud. <laughs> no, okay. 
Lighten the mood, appreciate it. It's just the tether so long that it's gonna be. Yeah, super bummer. Yeah. It's just the, the fact that the tether's out here. Yeah. yeah. Is uh, what I'm finding real weird. Totally. So now that's that's because Josh is lateraling to starboard, fifty percent. So he's he's motoring away, right? Not seeing much clarity. No. Could we adjust Argus's or Atalanta's butt lights? Would we be able to turn I the don't, light off? I don't know which one light off. Uh, just as light just banks, I'm gonna start just playing with them. Try, yeah. Day one. I'm seeing a loop there, right. under. Oh, yeah, I yeah. see that. Okay. Because uh, otherwise I lose all reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you can. Uh, yeah, so I'm, um, yeah, okay, so the daisy is quite loose there. I wonder if, what is caught? Um. Is it the daisy that's caught or the tether? Yeah. It's hard to say. It's probably the daisy because it's more grabbable. Yeah, yeah. But it looks to be quite up. Yeah. Am I so below? You're coming one? up pretty high right now. Yeah, I'm up above them. You're up above, yeah. If you drive, yeah, drive yeah, out. Yeah, I think. Drive ahead yeah, as well as down. Just a little and coming down. Roger, roger. We're still 40 meters from the package. We've drifted closer, but we're 40 out, so. Yeah. Yep. There's a lot what of a great times. time for this to happen. Right. Two wire ops. Yeah. Right. Trevor, there's no way to swing Herc around and get a zoom on this without messing up our tether management even worse. Not yeah. really. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, that's one of the next steps, but that's pretty low on my desire yeah, list. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that step gets filed one above recover. Well, we have, yeah, how much tilt up do we have if we were to then get a proper delta at least and then look up? Yeah, we got lots of tilt up. Uh, all right. Delta minus six, driving away. Still distance from the package. Package hasn't moved. Yeah. Pretty confident it's not in that one. We could probably kill Atalanta's horizontal or lateral thrusters, I should say. Roger. I don't think do they're doing anything right now. Okay, going dead. Just holding heading. Yeah, Roger. Holding heading. Okay, going to start edging back in. All right. Yeah. Well, I can just make out that BSR still facing up yep. in there with this lighting scheme. It looks to me like Daisy might be tangled. Uh, that, okay, so in backing up, that's coming more towards us, that loop, little loop there. Not much we can do. I'm trying to picture the vehicle, like what is even up there? Nothing. Nothing to hang up on, unless it's wrapped around. That's the only thing I can think of. It's the only thing I can think of too. But like, how would it have gotten wrapped around? We didn't wrapped around what? Six, uh, the eight. six eight. If the tether is wrapped around the six eight. So if we went. But we don't have. Yeah. 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 But will this keep happening with all that snatch? Oh, 
Okay. No. Mm hmm Yeah, how do you feel about that, Dave? Do you want to fly it, seeing as you know better what you're looking at? Sure. Than, than what I do? Whatever, you, whatever you'd prefer. Right? Especially <laughs> flying, it's not the issue. It's you know exactly what's here. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can see it more quite. Than, more That's than fine. I do. I'm happy to jump in, yeah. Just, mm. yeah, just leave it where it is, I'll Find get that. it. You got it? Yeah. How do they come up? Push a little button here. Let's hit the back, all the way back at the joint. You got hands-on controls? Yes. Roger. Ah, fuck no. Where it is? Yeah. Ah. Your mic's live there, Dave. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Now talking to you on trainer. Your delta is now minus 15. Yeah, I've been working on my way down. Driving away. Um, yep. I'll keep you posted on this package. Like you said, it's about 30, 30 away from Atalanta. Okay, thank you. Hey, Ed, I'm on trainer, by the way. Just so you know. Sure. All right. Man, last time this happened, we were caught in some gear. I don't think there's any gear down here. Gearless. Sans gear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which way are you turning? Raj. Just watch your uh, your bar. Are you are you uh panned out right now or zoomed out just so we can see the light bar, you know? Full wide. Full wide. Slightly up. Yeah, Raj. What do you want for lights on it? Yeah, coming up a little. You want to mess with the lights? Get that porch light off if that's on. On. Roger. VSR is up and it is. Yeah, it's quite up. Yeah.
Can we see uh, if we can clear up Herc lights a bit? I think they've got some, down, maybe down lights are on. Stand by. Or porch light, something like that. Turn off porch light first. Okay, down lights are off. Upper mid, starboard port, after on. Okay, yeah, they're just, they're just a lot of stuff in the water column. Yep. Package is still 30 meters away from Atalanta. Are you turning hard to starboard now? Roger. Okay, killing him. Roger. Nope. Yep. Off. On. I think it was slight. Uh, yeah, it's hard to say. Uh, oh yeah. Yep. Turning to port thirty degrees. Yeah. There you go. Looks like we around. Yeah. Roger. So is that a is that a turn up? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because the delta was. Uh, Okay. Watch your your porch there, tether. Sorry, the starboard side. You know what I meant. Is it on under you? We need the yeah. This is this is fun. No. <laughs> What's not fun about? Yeah. Still got a bit of the tether, yeah, yeah. Raj. If it wasn't for that meddling second wire, we could figure this out better. Oh, now you're getting... To Stuck. Roger. Are we on the starboard side there? So okay. okay. Still looks like under the vehicle from the starboard okay. cam. Do we have a second starboard cam? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Just on the tube, looks like. Do we need to blow that up? It's coming around. 
around the front of the vehicle now. I can see the bubble. Yeah. Got it there in uh, Herxes. Vertical up. Yeah, came undone. Give it a little more free. Give it a little more freeness. <laughs> there you go. Looks like you can spin it. Yeah, you can see butt butt cams getting happy. Roger, Roger. Yeah, looks good. Coming down. Distance to target is around 20, Atalanta to package 25 meters. Okay. So, <laughs> we, we saw the, the daisy taut. We saw the tether really whipped forward above Atalanta. It, it appeared that way. Yeah. It would have just been the, the we had a low delta, and the t the loop was so high up that when you d that you drove under and it caught the edge of all of Atalanta. Yeah, yeah, heaved up, and the loop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's yeah, that's what I think happened. I thought. It appeared to me, if you turn, uh, let's look at, because I, I don't know, I could kind of imagine that it's on the star, it's wrapped around to the s starboard side of Atalanta. Does that make sense? Show me on the doll. Okay, I think, so this is the butt cam. Yeah. Okay. So, just just the way the BSR looks, it looks like this six six eights like that. In which case, you would turn to port to undo it. Well, we can undo the wrap. That's your Atlanta. So turn to port. Yeah, so that's the same way we had it. Oh, turn to starboard. No, no, wait. It's bent over on the starboard side, so you would want to turn to port. But you need to get this. It's still, it's... You need to turn to port. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll sure. st we'll be standing by. <laughs> uh, Atalanta distance to package is now tw twenty two meters. So it's it's creeping a little bit closer. All right. Do we have the cameras the way we want before we do this? Yeah. Okay. Do we want to port? Hurt port? No, that doesn't matter. We've got all the Atalantas we need and have. Is bubble cam where we want it? Doesn't really matter. It's on Herc. Yeah, okay. Just checking. Yeah. Turning to port 10 degrees at a time. Raj. That's 10 to port. 10 to port I. That's 20 more. Mm 
Didn't see much, hey? So what if you're high? What if, yeah, what if you're high? You're high, yeah. Okay, I'm not doing anything. Twenty meters from the package, I'm keeping an eye on that. Um, as we spin, obviously we're gonna if we do loosen it, we'll lose we'll have a bit of loose tether, so you're gonna wanna drive forward so we don't yeah. You know. I think the worry minus ten. Okay, 30 more to port, coming up. There we go. It's turning. Okay, that's 30 more. Okay, Atlanta's now facing due west. Roger. Yeah. Roger. Just so we can see anything. I'm stopped at 270 for now. Yeah. How much? Roger. Yeah, how much more. output more up do you have? Yeah. 20 more. I think the worry is that. Spinning to port. Hopefully it's not also, it's like the tether and the daisy is caught somewhere, you know, that kind of, yeah. Uh, that's 20 more done. 20 more, roger. Okay, we've got a full about 100 degrees, so I'll keep going. 20 more. What's going on here with your scanning sonar? What have, what have we done? It's on super slow. Okay, that's 120 degrees total. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, that's 30 more coming up. Package still 20 meters from Atlanta. Okay, our heading's now one or about 200. We started around 45. Roger. 20 more coming up. That's Atlanta. Yeah, uh, Atlanta's maybe, maybe a little. Roger. Maybe a little forward at this point. What are you thinking? In case so we can un unhook whatever is hooked. Whoa. Oh, that's up. That's okay, coming around. 30 more for a total of uh, about 270 degrees, just under 250. Right. 30 more coming up to 300 uh, degrees loose, total. Loose, yeah, loose, loose. Keep going. Keep going? Yeah. You drive forward a bit? Zero four five. so I put one full rotation in. Roger. Yeah. You ahead a little bit, yeah. Roger. See what what we get with our. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, we put a full turn in the tether. What do we? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's. Yeah. Let's also. Okay. So let's assess. Roger. Let's assess what our lift line. Uh, daisy situation. Are we comfortable with that? Flocculence. Yeah. Full head, full down, Roger.
they're lifting tether, right? You're lifting an umbilical is where the turn is. Uh, it's in both. In this. It's in both. Yeah. We'll just keep an eye on it as we go. Even Delta. Roger. We can get Atalanta's uh, tilt down. Get pr prepared for our... Tilt down, Roger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the Delta was... T share the blame mostly Rennies yeah I think I think I've yeah all right I'm gonna do oh uh, can you stay out of auto XY I'm gonna do a quick DVL uh, reset. yeah yeah you're good okay I'll get this mess cleared up then I'll throw you back in how's that sound yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay Roger yeah Roger all good okay so great work everybody let's uh Salvo to package put you 34. Back. Yeah, Roger, thank you. So, first step is take a wrap out. Um, Josh, can you please come to starboard 90 degrees? Turn to starboard 90 degrees. 9 0 to starboard, Roger. Coming 90 to starboard. Oh, you haven't learned that one yet, have you? If you hit the auto out, if you use this, you're good. If you use that, double tap. Okay. Otherwise, it'll just okay, do it. That's 90s or Thank you. Uh, you can come more to starboard. Roger. What's that's, that's uh, another 90? Okay. This looks good. Cool. So if you were to tip up, which I don't care if you do, you'd see me. Great. Keep going to starboard. Another 90. Coming around to starboard. Distance is still around 30 meters. Thank you. And Atalanta. finish your turn all the way to 045. I'll stretch you out again. Roger. Now we'll double check on butt cam, make sure everyone's happy. Yeah, right. From there. Coming up to zero four five now. Yeah, Roger. Looks good. Yep. Butt cam looks good on both. Wraps are zeroed. I think we're happy. Okay. Agreed. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Is my answer to the what makes you happy question. Yeah. 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 There's the answer to the what makes you happy question. Yeah.
to our ops, so still 30 out from Atalanta. So we're kind of as we were, it's just a race the past half hour, and we'll be good. Yep. Uh, okay, you ready for me to come up? I'm just waiting for Trevor there, if he's ready. Roger. Uh, Trevor, are we doing any laterals this time or changing heading of the Atlanta now or anything like that? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No worries. I think it makes sense. We have to keep Atalanta away from the package, so that's kind of, yeah. I was thinking face due north and then lateral to port, and this time keep a tighter delta. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Are we ready, ready for that lateral in Atlanta then? Um, let's do the Delta, Delta first. first. Roger. Yeah. Roger, Roger. Do not want that happening again. Where's my fidget cube? It's like we, we had a premonition that I would need it. Oh, uh, maybe it's in here. You can come up to 25 or so anyway. Okay, coming up. Okay, coming to you. You can keep sucking up. Roger, keep coming up. 25 now. Thirty-two. Thirty-five. Okay, I'll keep yeah. her there. Let me know if you want that port on Atlanta or not. Yeah, I think we might need it, huh? It's a jellyfish, I think. Yep. Package 20 meters away from Atalanta. Roger. Have we initiated that um, st that strafing starboard or port rather? Have not. Would we you like to? Camera mid back up there, changing cameras. I'll defer to Trevor. What do you think? Should we start moving that? I'd love to see the vehicle. I want to get the ROV closer. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get our bearings here. And I think st strafe or come up first doesn't really, probably strafe first. So, yeah, it's creeping towards us. Don't want to get Are you yeah. another. Are you ready for that? I think so, yeah. Okay, I can just see the lights in the Mini Zeus view now, so. That's lateral to port, 50%. Roger. Okay. <sighs> okay. Great. I 
this. I thought they've been standing by this whole time. Got a target and sonar. I guess that's the. I don't know what it is, but that's the existing. That thing. should be. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. The existing one. Yeah. So are you seeing any progress on the laterals? Not really. But not, yeah. Not nothing. It has. Okay. It's going a fair distance, but it's coming astern of me. While he's lateraling, it's moving away. Interesting. That's fine. This is yeah. a pretty normal config for the two vehicles. So. Okay. Um. So I guess we come up to about 20 off bottom. Yeah, nice, come and up slow. nice and slow. Yeah. You ready, Dave? Yep. Okay, coming up slow in the winch. Yeah, and if you need to keep that delta 27 to 37, 27 to 40, you're probably. Yeah, I'm going to keep it on the high side. Yeah, great. That's fine. Okay, what's our distance to target with Hercules there, Any? With Hercules distance to that oh, target? that one. You see it right there. That's a, yeah. Are we, how high up are we? Uh, Let's say 10, 15. That's it there. There, it is. there you got go. It. Thank you. You got visual? Yep. Uh, yeah, see it. Okay, I'll okay. stop there. Stop. Good. Okay, are we happy to start moving this into position along the bottom, X, Y plane, not up, down? Do you want to initiate some ship moves? I can do that as long as AJ's good at that. Yep, all good here. Okay, we're going to go one five meters bearing zero one one. Okay. Bridge nav. Like you to step one five meters, bearing zero one one. Thank you. I think that ladderling is helping. I think so. We got the current pushing this way, the lateral pushing that way, which means it's moving this way. Yep. Don't want to go that way. No, it's not the right way. But not the hard way. Yeah. I lost it. Oh, I see it. Just that little light there, or that little reflection. Yeah. Down. I guess this is going to be the test of which it moves first, or hopefully at the same time, Atalanta the or versus, yeah. or the platform. Yeah. These down lights are really kind of down. Yeah. I think the down lights are off. Or whatever is in there is quite reflecting off of what's in the water. It's a productive area. Mm -hmm. The back scatter light. Yeah. We can play with that if one of you two has a free hand. Would you like? Looks like probably Josh. Turn the down light off if it's on. It's off. Okay. Well, maybe you, you could try turning the mids off. We still have it a good solid sonar hit. That's better. It might be a better view. What do you yeah. think, Dave? How do you feel about that? That's okay for now, yeah. Great. I can always close in on it. Yeah. No, that's great. Um, like this distance. In this sort of, how far away can I get from Atalanta, though? You uh, can get 50 meters. <laughs> yeah, it'll depend on your meters. delta, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got a 38 meter delta right now. What are these grids? These are 10 right now? Uh, They're 10 right now, yep. Two wires, ops. Turns out that wasn't even the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it really, it really uh, slowed down our ability to correct that problem. 
because we had to be stretched away from it yeah, during absolutely. that whole time. Considering that whole thing. Yeah. And it did cause the problem, but. But who's blaming who? You know. That's my fault. fault. In indirectly Sorry. caused the problem. Let's yeah. be clear here. Yeah. The yeah. Passive. Passive effect. Yeah. Is he clump now? Raj. Yeah, that shiny bit's the termination. So Beacon and Atalanta depth are about the same, which is what we expected. That's good. Yeah. Does that line have reflective markings on it? Yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. AJ, does this need to be oriented or just landed? Just landed. Okay, Raj. Love that. Love a good no orientation. It's just um, batteries and a data logger for the instrument that's already buried on the seafloor. Okay. Oh, so this is an autonomous thing. I think it also has a BPR on it, but yeah. orientation is not critical for that. We need to know which way the bottom pressure is. <laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> it's always up. Spoiler. <laughs> Don't know scientists. I feel like I have taken bearings of platforms with omnidirectional sensors on them before. Certainly have yeah. taken bearings of CTDs. Oh, we're going to take a bearing. Don't you worry. Yeah, we will do it. <laughs> It's the way. We got uh, both sure is. in sonar right now. That's the package as well as the oh, nice. installed platform. Okay. That's great. Okay, yeah, that tracks. So after the shipment is obviously complete, after the package swing we think is mostly complete, yeah. we can bring it down. We have, what are we, 13 meters off bottom right now? We can bring it down a yeah. bit, keep them both in sonar. So Just that. Lo lower them down five meters, exactly. let it settle. Yeah. yeah. Another five. So that move will, when it settles, should put us around where that X is, and yeah, great. we could double check the orientation now if we are picking it up in sonar. But um, gonna have to go off what they kind of set prior. What do you mean orientation? Yeah, just in case uh, actual is is a little different based on subsea positioning in sonar. You know, I like see. if it, like these, right now, these I are could, today's targets. But uh, yeah, well, let me do a reset. Are you okay with that? Yep. Okay, Raj. There we go. Looks like we're starting to see that package swing. It does. It yep. does appear that way. Yeah. Where's the ship? There it is. top of that wire. We can only hope. Okay. I didn't look over your shoulder, Josh. Gauges are good? Yeah. Thank yeah, you. they're all solid. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. That's one of the times you miss the four hour watch change. <laughs> here, here you go. Here you go. Tethers in everything. <laughs> See ya. Oh, yeah. Tethers in everything. <laughs> yeah. Your guess is as good as ours. See ya. 14 wire ups. Bye. <laughs> yeah, Atalanta distance is still looking good. Now we're 25 meters out. Great. Um, shouldn't have ever been able to cross, so, well. With the second wire? Yeah, just, I mean, it's just so funny, because, like, we're looking at it here, and it's, like, a distance, but when you think about the distance down, it's, like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> Very tiny angles. Okay, I can't remember who was telling the story, but the, the ship captain is, like, okay, here's a whiteboard. If you can draw the two wire ops to scale with, yeah. with this whiteboard marker without them touching, we'll do it. Yeah. The person's, like, Burr. no. Yeah. But you'd also need like a really thin marker to make yeah. the wire rope scale. Yeah. Prepared. The thinnest. The thinnest. Thinnest marker. <laughs> the thin blue marker. <laughs> okay. Or is it red? What was the name of that? 
thin blue line? Yeah. yeah. No, it's a thin red line. Thin red no. line. Thin blue, it's not blue. So it's not finished, it's moved. No. I have a feeling it will take a while to settle. I think oh, so yeah. too, yeah. We have lost the other platform and sonar and we're what, thir still 13 off bottom. We could come down five right now. That doesn't put us too close to the bottom. And it can let us acquire the next one in sonar. Keep an eye on everything. We Keep could have that. him pay out five two. Sure, Keep with that. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Winch, control van, please pay out five meters. Well, he's, <laughs> he's awake. Out there. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Steph, just keeping them company. Fantastic. Oh, they are. Paying out. Yep. What's the total tether length? 45? You're coming down almost on top of it. You see it? Roger yeah, Raj. Yep. Yeah. Five zero, AJ. Okay. I'm gonna throw some gain in just to see what's going on here. Thank you, Ed. So Herc's heading is just off of north. What are we at? Zero two five, something like that. And How we're long ago seeing was that it. Move? Uh, the I don't I didn't catch the time that I called it. Um, it's still moving though, and I sent us zero one one. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be so close. Hmm. It's really a, a quite a tight distance. So. The objective it is, is about two and a half meters. The objective is this is the instrument up here. Yeah. Cable goes down. Cable's only so long. Yeah. It plugs into there. That was about the limit. Yeah. Maybe a little farther. So the so goal is to put the new package up in this way. Within the circle of of distance yep. that it can reach. We don't want to go too far. Yeah. Because then when we lay the cable away to unhook it, yeah. it interferes with southern cable point. See yeah. this curved green track line? Yeah, yeah, that that's was me following okay. the cable lay as right. we placed it. Yeah. The connector is now over So here. not too far but also not on it. Not on it is yeah. kinda that's the that's the one. Yep. 